Hi friends, welcome to Carlos M. Kitchen and a special hello to the new subscribers. Traditionally, Andalusas serve this dish with French fries, but I'm making it differently. Stay till the end and let me know what you think about this recipe. First, make sure you order the oxtail from a butcher. Usually they don't have it at the grocery store, but you can order, you can tell them that you want it and they will let you know uh, when they're gonna have it. I removed most of the fat and added salt and pepper all over them. Then I floured them using a, using a plastic bag. That way the meat will stay on the bone and won't fall off when it's already done, when it's cooked. This recipe requires a lot of patience because it takes time to make it. But for me it is worth it because I will be making a couple of other dishes with it. These are big pieces of uh, oxtail and they have a lot of meat. Once floured, warm up the oil in medium high heat. I'm gonna sear them. The collagen or gelatin plus the flour are gonna help the sauce set and thicken very well. Then sear the other side. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Once seared, remove and reserve in a bowl. And I'm going to start with the sofrito. I have all the ingredients chopped and ready. I added one onion and half a bell pepper. The veggies are coarsely chopped because they will cook for hours. I did the same with two carrots. And continue sauteing for about five minutes. Adding a bay leaf to the veggies and three chopped garlic cloves without germ and a teaspoon of sweet paprika. Add and mix well because it burns very easily and it will turn bitter. It will ruin your dish. Then add five chopped Roma tomatoes. Cook for 15 minutes until most of the water is evaporated. You might be wondering why am I using such a big pot, right? I have two reasons for it. It won't splatter the stuff as much and I will be making the sauce there as well. Almost all the liquid from the tomatoes is evaporated, so it is exactly the way I wanted it. Now it is time to add half a cup of white wine. I will let it boil for five minutes to allow the alcohol to evaporate. If you have red wine, add red wine, it will turn out just fine. I returned the oxtail to the pot and added six cups of water. Added some salt and black pepper because I added a bunch of ingredients and they need seasoning. If not, it won't have any flavor. Have you made oxtail before? Let me know in the comments below. Let it boil and remove the foam from the top. Those are impurities from the oxtail. So it's always a good idea to remove it. Next, I cover the pot halfway and let it simmer for three hours, checking every once in a while. What I am doing is reducing the sauce, which will give it a more a fuller, a fuller flavor. I have six red, red potatoes. I will have two types of cooking. Wash them and boil them in a pot with salt for 25 to 30 minutes until they are tender. Drain the water and set them on a cooling rack. While they are cooling off, put some parchment paper on a baking tray. Then one by one, you press them with a spatula and smash them until they are all done. Add some sea salt and extra virgin olive oil only because I will serve them with the oxtail sauce. I bake them at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes or until the skin is golden and crispy. Now the oxtail is ready, so I will reserve it in a clean bowl. 
See how much the sauce reduced. Now I'm going to fish out the bay leaf before blending the sauce. But I'm reserving the, the bay leaf and a clove. Blend the sauce with an immersion blender and now it makes sense why am I using that pot, right? I'm using only one pot and avoiding splattering all over the place. The sauce came out perfect. I just need to add a little bit of salt. Now I return the bay leaf to the pot and add the clove to the sauce. I return the oxtail to the pot and cooked for another 15 minutes at medium heat. The food is ready. I just have to taste it. Check out the videos in the to the right of the screen. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you, I hope you like the recipe. Chaito, and I will see you in the next video.